those were the greatest days, and, and uh, we met some of the uh, truly outstanding teachers. They're almost like parents. They were really solid, and in addition to that, uh, the many uh, friends that we have developed, and that in itself that was uh, something special. And then we got that in that school. Showbert, and I started here in my third grade and went through my sophomore year. They moved us up to the new school our junior year. We were we loved the school. We absolutely loved it and <laughs> the, it, there was just so many memories here. We got up to the new school and poor Mr. Cutlip, he was just amazed that we hated that new school. The main reason was while we were here, we had an hour for lunch. We could walk all around the building. We could go up and eat at different restaurants up this way and come back. We got to the new school, weren't allowed outside, not even in the courtyard. <laughs> My name is Joe Keithy. I'm a graduating class of 1986 at Milford High School. And I wanted to share some of my memories of Milford, Maine and going through there. Um, actually, when I went to Milford, Maine, I went through uh, age or grade six and seven. And the first thing that I remember is when going to school at Maine is bringing all the local schools together as one. So I went to Miami Elementary, so we had Milford South, we had Seipelt and all these different classes coming together and getting to know and meet a lot of different people in the community. So that was one of the bigger memories that I had. Uh, other memories that I had at Maine was the principal that we had, Mr. Heron, who was just a wonderful man. He was very visible in the school, very easy to talk to, um, very connected in the community as well. I also remember uh, to this day the do not jump off the stage and that was something that we all did and we all took great pleasure and especially if we could get away with it and it was jumping off the stage and then also jumping onto the stage. The stage was about three feet so it was always fun to do that. More importantly seeing the people that tripped on the way up was always pretty comical as well. There has been many things that's happened in this beautiful auditorium. And I refer to her as the grand dame of all auditoriums in the area. The first time I stepped on this stage was in 1959. And at that time, there was about 300 seats on the second floor, about 600 here. And that first time was to introduce the Milford JC Talent Show. That show ran till 1982, almost 30 years. Hey, give my regards to old Broadway and tell them I will soon be there. Well, we got that in. Yeah. <laughs>
Hi, uh, I'm Carl Schultz, uh, Milford High School class of 1962. And that was the last class to graduate from this building. We graduated right off this stage here. This uh, building that we're in, the auditorium, was opened in 1953. And I remember the first uh, assembly in this. The entire school body, kindergarten through 12, was sitting out here in the seats. And it didn't go back as far as the edge of the balcony. And Mr. Fly, who was the superintendent, said to us, and he said, someday we'll fill this entire auditorium. And so here we are with thousands of kids and multiple school buses, and, and uh, this building served quite a purpose for many people. I did second through 12 in this building, and very fond memories. We did everything we could to try to save the building a few years ago for for the school for education purposes, but economically it just was not feasible. So uh, progress moves on and we'll have the memories of everything that uh, we learned in that first 18 years of our lives in this, in this building.